All right, here is Craig Smith. They got that engine back together, and at least it made a burnout, Don Garland. So far, so good. Well, my congratulations to the crew, because I was over there, and they had a lot of work to do and not many parts to fix it with. Well, here's Getty Bernstein. They had very little work to do and a whole lot of parts if they needed them. There's a problem with Smith's car, Don. It won't go into reverse. That's right, and they cannot back this car up unless they can get it in reverse because the clutch is dragged and the car continues to want to go forward. So he will have to get off the track if they can't get it in reverse. Kenny Bernstein is watching all of that as he backs up. And entry official right on top of it. And I think there's a point here. They're just going to send him down the race deck. Let's see. It's to the point now that even if he could get it back to the starting line, it would overheat the Bernstein engine. And there goes Craig Smith back to the barn. Kenny Bernstein will win the Motocraft Ford Arizona Nationals by default. Now he's got to make the run. He could just idle down the racetrack, Don. That's not his style. That wasn't your style. No, I never liked to do that. I didn't like singles anyway. I like to run as hard as I could run, and it wouldn't surprise me if Bernstein doesn't do the same thing. Well, he's got a taste of the fours now. He'd like to have another one. Dale Armstrong ambles away. Doesn't have to worry about a car in the other lane because there isn't one. The long nitro flame should be visible now as the sun is behind the mountain. Oh, what a beautiful sight. And the top fuel champion rounds out the day with a 501 at 287 miles per hour. Brock Yates is at the starting line. Yeah, well, it feels good, you know. It's taken us uh, over a year. I mean, this is our first top fuel win, and uh, I got to hand it to Kenny, though. He saved us in the semis. <laughs> <laughs> great work. Congratulations. You're a great team. Thank you. The end of a long dry spell for the Budweiser King. A happy crew. They've worked hard. We watch this replay. This is the fuel racing that I love. Flames higher than the wings. This is what the crowd came to see. And even though there's no car in the other lane, Kenny Bernstein, the showman, made a show for them all. Welcome back to the world of winners. Kenny Bernstein. Oh, thank you, Steve. It's been a long 18 or 19 months. I'm telling you, it's been tough. But Dale and the guys never quit. Budweiser, Quaker State, and Mac Tool and Eagle Snack stuck with us. And Finally made it. I'm sorry that uh, Craig had some problems over there. A 501 in the final. You wanted another four, a deeper four. <laughs> yeah, but we had to had to be cool about it too. It, it got cool this evening. The track got better, but the air got a lot better. We actually took a lot out of it, a couple of percent, a little bit off the clutch. So that tells you how much better the track was. You know, Kenny, it's important to win early in the season like this to get a run at a Winston title. Boy, it, it's a pain when you don't win early. It's a it's really tough because you know everybody runs so good. There's so many good cars out here in top fuel that it takes everything you can do to make it happen. Celebrate. I'm going to. You can bet on that. And I'm going home tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.